Hello again, everybody. This is Ed with another episode of Call Me Mr. Broadstreet. As a quick aside, yeah, it's pretty hot as I'm filming this in the uh, Northeast as of this date. Uh, we've been through a couple days of a heat wave already, and it doesn't look like it's going to end. Sort of in the spirit of that, I'm um, doing what's considered a more probably casual review. Uh, the book that I'm reviewing is The Beatles by Igloo Books. Uh, it was released in 2009. Uh, the basic premise behind this book is it presents a chronology of the Beatles. It also presents some aspects of the solo career afterwards. Uh, it really goes over the highlights, and it's very much the type of book that you would get, uh, let's say you're a hardcore fan like myself. You want to introduce someone to the Beatles. You want to give them something relatively easy to read, but something that will spark their interest to delve into things further. Uh, you know, or for another example, you could be uh, a parent who grew up with the Beatles. You want to introduce your kids to something like this. Great little book to start with. Along with how we see the music and everything as far as the Beatles and the solo Beatles, obviously. Um, you know, or a grandparent for your grandchild. Anything along those lines. Um, you know, probably if the grandchild is probably about 10 years old or so and they have a you know, fairly good reading level. Um... But it's a, you know, it's a nice book. I uh, definitely want to go through some pages, of course, and um, give some uh, thoughts as I'm going through kind of the, uh, the highlights and, you know, some of the uh, more cautionary things, if you will, with the book. And then after that, uh, I'll go ahead and come back and give my final overall thoughts. So without any uh, further delay, here we go. And welcome to the review and the walkthrough of the book. As you can see, just some very basic information, as I alluded to in my introduction. Nice photo of the early years, first of all, uh, circa 1958, 1959, maybe. Uh, notice Ringo not in the picture, John and Paul and George in front. Stuart Sutcliffe in the back. Here we go, Ringo. <laughs> Ringo from 1960 before he joined the Beatles. I mean, check out that hair, man. That's a pretty nice photo. I don't think that's... This is one in the book I don't think I've seen really before. Uh, so it's kind of nice to see it and to have it. And we move along. We've got Hamburg and Liverpool, of course. You've got uh, Paul on piano, uh, Pete Best on drums, Stuart Sutcliffe, George Harrison, and John Lennon, all on stage in Hamburg wearing the leather clothes before they went to the suits. This picture right here, one of my favorites. On the back of the wall, you may not be able to see it too well, but it says... Their name liveth forevermore. I don't think truer words have ever been spoken about the Beatles. Little did they know it at the time, of course. Beatlemania 1963. So again, we're getting a little bit further along in the book. Very general. It hits all the high notes, of course. Uh, there they are on a set over in England, right before they're breaking big in the United States in 1964 which is shown right here. Nice color photo, by the way, of the uh, Ed Sullivan performance, uh, kind of an outtake, that's what it looks like to me. Then in the upper corner, you see them kind of goofing around in the snow. So again, 1964, Beatlemania striking America. And we get a little bit further. Hair is getting a little bit longer, of course. Uh, later in 1964, they've got a hectic schedule. They're going along. It's just a nice photo right here. Nice color concert photo. They're getting off the plane for another tour and right here i like in the book that it does go over at least different facts about the albums and kind of some breakdowns of uh different songs and little different pictures of at least around the time period uh which is very nice to have and this photo right here uh let's see that's uh a 1966 june uh, I believe that was BBC Top of the Pops. Sadly lost to history, but I've always liked this photo. I wish we could actually find it on video. And yet another photo right here. Uh, just Revolver 1966. Yeah, the hair is even getting longer. The drug's becoming more plentiful. They're definitely getting weary of touring 
as uh, as such but you're kind of seeing this uh again just very basic here we go one of the mistakes i alluded to in my introduction take a look at the photo take a look at the caption i'm going to give everybody a second to see if you can zoom in and read it don't worry the answer is coming very very soon Yeah, that's not John and Yoko in 1967, and that's one of the problematic uh, areas of the book. Definitely some of the dates uh, do tend to get mixed up, and some of the photos of different sections that may not belong with the corresponding year. Very cool photo of Paul arriving at Abbey Road Studios, 1966, for a recording session. Uh, again, nice photo. I haven't really seen this one too often, of course. Uh, fan waiting outside. He's going right in. The doorman's just letting him in. And of course, one of my favorite photos has always been the Paul and Linda photo right here uh, in the left. Then on the right, uh, it's the same party. It's a Sgt. Pepper release party. They're on top of the world. 1967, hey, they've hit their psychedelic masterpiece, as it were. Hey, who will let Ray Manzarek in the studio? Oh, of course, of course, that's John. But early February uh, 1968, I believe. Kind of a look he wouldn't have for very long, uh, right before they went to India. Recording Lady Madonna, I believe, on the vocals, June of 68. And here we just get a little uh, nice photo of Paul, Ringo, and George, a cardboard cutout of John who couldn't make it to that particular Yellow Submarine event. So the three dolls mark one, as it were. Abbey Road, uh, again, this just sort of goes into some facts about Abbey Road. We see Paul drumming in the corner, nice handwritten lyric, but of course in this book actually does not contain the iconic photo of the Abbey Road cover. So again, some more marks off of that. Let it be 1970, just some nice photos of right around 1960, 1970. Of course, the group is nearing its end. Um, John and Yoko, Paul and Linda, Ringo and Maureen, and George and Ravi Shankar right in the uh, photos there. And chapter 21, we're celebrating the Beatles' legacy, of course. And again, it just hits the highlights uh, of each of the solo careers. This is for an event in 2007 uh, with Paul, Yoko, Olivia, Harrison, and Ringo Starr. And again, just the nice photos as I'm looking through. John and Yoko from 1980, Paul from 1976 and 1997, and George from his 1974 tour with Billy Preston. Um, and in the descriptions, again, just some very highlights. Um, you know, nothing too deep. George and Ringo, of course, and uh, right in the upper right-hand corner, the Beatles during the anthology sessions in 95. So again, overall, a nice book to pick up, but some marks off. And I'll go ahead and stop it here, and we'll get some overall impressions to end the video. And I'm back. So overall, uh, my thoughts about grading this book, uh, as it were... Uh, I would probably put it as uh, somewhere between pick it up next and good. Uh, there are definitely some inaccuracies, as I went over in the uh, review. Uh, so there's definitely some things that people won't want to quite take as gospel, uh, so to speak. And, you know, with those errors in mind, it does hit the highlights. Um, there's a couple things I wished it would have hit, but... Again, if you're trying to hit all the highlights of the Beatle years and a little piece of the solo years and mentioning the anthology, um, you know, again, not a bad little book to kind of at least start of. It's a starting point, really, what it is. Uh, so, you know, overall, yeah, kind of a pick it up next. It's nice to have in the collection. Not essential, but, you know, it's good to kind of, uh, like I said, give to someone, you know, they're, they're just starting off on the journey. So that's... Uh, that's, in my opinion, not a bad thing. So a nice uh, light review for uh, this week. Uh, I've got some really good stuff coming up within the next few weeks. Uh, hopefully the next episode I'll get to do another uh, interview with a couple special guests. So stay tuned for that. Uh, that'll be coming very soon. Uh, you'll be surprised, hopefully. Uh, if you've watched the show, maybe not. Who knows? <laughs> um, but anyways, I hope everybody's staying cool out there. Um, again, just stay safe. I know it's hotter than an oven out there, uh, you know, especially for a lot of folks. So just be careful, uh, be good to one another, and I'll see everybody in the uh, next review or the next interview. I'll see everybody later. Bye.